It's hotter than a devil's coochie out here. Hey guys, what's up? So, coming back from a little bit of a depressive week. Um, it's still a little rough. It's still a little rough, but I'm doing better, as you can tell. Like, my I have an outfit on, and I'm not just looking like ho-dunk. So, um... Did a lot of shopping this weekend. I had a four day weekend, so I did a lot of shopping. So I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys this week, but that is a different video. This video is meal prepping. I'm gonna show you guys that I meal prep for Devin and I every week. And since we work night shift, our eating schedule is a little ass backwards, just to say. So we still eat like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but breakfast is still like in the morning time as you would eat it normally. But like lunch is kind of like the altered one. So sometimes dinner can be at a normal time, like six o'clock at night, or dinner can be at midnight. And then lunch is at like two, three, four in the morning. And then breakfast is at like seven or eight in the morning. But I still meal prep lunch for us since we do go to the gym. Um, and that's also going to be another video is like a gym vlog. But for now, I'm just going to show you guys my meal prep for this week and my breakfast for this week because Devin has his own little breakfast. But I'm going to meet you guys back in the car because I forgot to buy something this past weekend. Oops. See ya. I'm back. So... I'm only going to one grocery store. I just need raisins, that's all I need because I'm making carrot cake overnight oats for my breakfast this week because I found a recipe while I was at work scrolling and it looked absolutely bomb as fuck. So that is what I'm eating this week for breakfast. I also have little mini yogurts that I try to eat. Um, I have protein in them. I need to go to National Grocers and I will probably record that. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Bag secured. Okay. So, oh, I'm back from the grocery store. And this little one just woke up and he wants to be held. So I'm going to hold him. He won't shut up if I don't hold him. So... Actually, hold on, I'll be right back, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So this is originally Mimi's carrier, but he likes being held so much, so, oh well. Okay, so I just washed my hands. Um, I make the same thing every week, just because like food is fuel. Um, dinner is where we like actually care about our food. Um, same thing with breakfast. I don't know. Breakfast kind of depends if, cause sometimes when we come home, we're just ready to like be home. Um, so you stink, dude. You stink bad. Yeah. You stinky boy. Anyways. So I make like chicken and I season it however I want that week. And then I also make broccoli and I've been trying to make rice, but I just don't think, I don't think that I like the rice. I don't know, Devin and I get a lot of carbs in throughout the day. So, yeah. Um, and like I said earlier, I'm making overnight oats for carrot, like carrot cake overnight oats. So, we'll do that. Look at the camera, stink boy. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the ingredients and then... Uh. So I use this big bag of broccoli. I go to Sam's every week. Um, I have this from like last week that I bought last Sunday and they're still surprisingly like really good. So I think I'm gonna use up these and mix it in with the broccoli. And then I just get these big things of like either the chicken tenders or the organic pack of like chicken breasts. And I get everything from Sam's every week just because it's 
Look at him. Okay, sorry. Because it's just easier to buy in bulk. So, um, I'm going to cut off the fat of the chicken and then I'm going to start like cutting this while this is cooking. And then I'll just kind of like talk with you guys because I've got a lot to talk about, so. I always put olive oil in the pan according to like how much chicken I have. So like this week I have a lot more chicken than I usually would. Well, actually it might be the same amount of chicken. It's just a different cut. So it looks like it's more. Um, but I always put olive oil in the pan because like, yeah, my pans are non-stick, but non-stick only goes so far. And I kind of want to protect my pans. So I put olive oil in there. It also helps with the taste. I know Devin like is obsessed with olive oil for some reason. So I put it in there because he likes it as well. I personally am a ghee person. Um, ghee is clarified butter. So that's what makes it like vegan. The only thing that makes butter dairy-ish is like that white part that separates when you melt butter. The like white film on top, that's the lactose part of butter. Um, without that part of butter, it's dairy free. So, didn't know if you knew that, but I'm a ghee person. Devin is an olive oil person. Went to Ikea this weekend because of how depressed I was. Devin wanted to get me out of the house. And we went to Kansas, Miriam, Kansas, because we've never been there. We usually go to the St. Louis Ikea, but I really, I don't like St. Louis. Um, there's a lot of people that like St. Louis. I'm a city person, but I don't like St. Louis. There's something about it that gives me off vibes. It's one of those things that I just don't, personally, I don't feel comfortable there. I feel, I felt really comfortable in Kansas and it was my first time there. Um, we went to Trader Joe's, we went to Whole Foods because I'm obsessed with Whole Foods. I love Whole Foods and I will base my schooling and like where I live off of if there's gonna be a Whole Foods there. As soon as I'm done getting like my bachelor's and it's time to like finish out my degree and go to med school, I'm basing that off of, oh, that looks gross. I'm not eating that. I'm basing it off of Whole Foods. I like to game and I haven't streamed yet because I don't have like a gaming desk like Devin does. Um, so we went and got me a new desk and I'm gonna film a video on it. So don't you fret guys. I know that there's like five of you that watch this video, but I'm gonna show you guys my awesome new aesthetic gaming desk, Heather Everett version. Why the hell did I just stutter like that? Damn. Um, I also went to Bass Pro because we it was Mimi's birthday Friday. Um, I didn't film any of this this week because I was so stressed out, which I'm happy with. Like, I'm fine not filming it because um, there's plenty of things to film. Um, I just enjoyed shopping with Devin, and um, I will show you guys what I got because I went shopping a lot. And, yeah. But I don't want to... I just don't want to, I didn't want to stress out about like having to get the perfect shot or being scared to film in front of other people, like blah, 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 that whole kind of business. I was able to just relax at the places that I loved. I got to buy, oh my God, I got to buy a bunch of kitchen stuff. I'm so happy because I've been wanting like these cups that I got last year and oh, I got like, oh shit. Don't you dare! I just dropped chicken on the floor. A whole ass tender. And back from cleaning up chicken that I dropped on the floor. Um, back to what I was saying. These cups, I got these amazing cups that I love so very much. Um, and they're adorable, so I got more. I got like, six in total now so cool <sighs> this is the like part i hate most about meal prep is the cutting the chicken it takes forever Ugh. 
So, yes, I, I'm going to make another video probably this week. I just won't post it this week. Um, but I'll make a video on my, like, shopping haul of everything I got this past weekend. So that's about as much chicken I cut up and usually cook. And that's, like, that's how thick the pan is. So there's, like, a mountain of chicken there. That's all my chicken fat and a couple of tenders that I dropped on the floor on accident. I'm saving this for like buffalo chicken loaded potatoes for dinner one week. And I'm just going to toss that back in the freezer so this doesn't go bad. But I'm going to cook this and season it. I've already put olive oil in the pan. This I'm going to throw in a trash bag and go out to the dumpster because if I throw it in my trash can it's going to fucking stink and I do not want that. So season... I'll show you guys seasonings, and then after this, I'm gonna move on to the vegetables. So I tossed in the green beans like I said I do. Um, I don't have big kitchen space, so here's my containers with the chicken in them. Here's some others. There's my nasty chicken spatula. These are just gonna like kind of cook down because they're water-based vegetables. So after these cook down and the olive oil kind of subsides, I'm going to toss in some lemon juice, a little bit of water to help steam them, and then I'm going to season them with salt, pepper, probably some seasoned salt, and most definitely paprika, because paprika and green beans is just absolute combo. So I'm going to let these cook down, put them in the containers, and yeah, that'll pretty much be it. So I forgot to add one thing about the green beans. I toss my vegetables in the pan that I cook my chicken in after it's cooked. So it gets all that like flavor from that chicken all over the, nice, all over the uh, vegetables. So a little cooking tip for you there. Okay, just finished meal prep. Um, I think that's gonna be it for the video. There's Mimi in the back. Um, I'll take my glasses off because my I have a migraine. Um, period vibes. Um, me and Clover are gonna say goodbye to this video. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my meal prep vlog. Um, I know it's not much. I know my phone quality is bad. Um, I'm going to have a shopping haul video coming out soon, a gym vlog video coming out soon, and probably an apartment tour video coming out soon. So look forward to it, even though it's kind of cringe. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.